Hello YouTube and welcome to Nebula 2, which is a PowerPoint OS developed entirely by me. Okay, I'm just going to prove that it's entirely in PowerPoint, so I'm just going to press the escape button and yeah, you can see. Obviously, I've do, I'm doing the uh, thing widescreen, so you won't be able to see the bottom or the top of the screen because I do not have a completely widescreen screen, if that makes any sense, which probably doesn't, but ah well. Right, so yeah, so in Nebula 1, which was designed in 1993, bold it, this was designed in 1999, or so my uh, pathetic backstory dictates, you, the, you just went straight to the desktop. There was no setup, obviously, but since as there are here. If you click setup, then this takes us to a kind of BIOS looking kind of screen, which, uh, from which we can change the BIOS settings, we can change the boot settings, or rather we can't, because our admin rights are not granted. Right, so we can change the language and we have the start button. Well, not start, well, we can start, we can reboot the thing, I think. But you know what I mean. Or, so we'll just press reboot there. But this BIOS screen looks kind of like, looks kind of like Windows uh, XP or Windows 7 or just any version of Windows ever, really. So let's just press reboots. And uh, yeah, six is back to this screen. So from how from here, let's just press proceed, and immediately a snappy little loading bar pops up. And uh, when it's finished, we uh, proceed button appears. So we'll press this to go to the desktop. This immediately takes us to the desktop. Fit fast, this isn't it? But this immediately takes us to the desktop. And uh, yeah, so it's as you may like immediately see, it's very 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 rem reminiscent of XP with the blue and green color scheme. That that was very important in the making of it. But uh, yeah, with the green uh, start or begin button on the blue task tool bar task thing. Also, with an addition, we have this black bar top here, which contains the volume, the Wi-Fi signal strength, and the time. So also, there is a minimize button, which minimizes or closes rather any programs that are open at the current time or when we are open at the desktop we can just press it and this little snappy little menu comes up and look there's a little animation it just goes up a bit but yeah <laughs> can't stop doing that stop it okay but uh, we can go to shut down restart or help I'll show you them after but for now we'll just go to help so this is the new style of window uh, with the name at the top and the X and a snappy little X button also in the corner, and uh, the text middle. The color scheme is very blue, uh, and also green on the desktop. But that's a the theme with Nebula, as you'll see in later voices, which I've already made. I just need to make videos for them. So yeah, because this is for the channel Hexic Tech HD, and I've only uploaded one video so far, which is the Nebula which is the Nebula 1.0 video, but I also do another channel called Hexit Gaming V2. Be sure to subscribe, I'll put the link in the description, or I might forget, but you know. Yeah, so uh, this blue, uh, this kind of blue uh, window top thing style is rather pleasing to the eyes, it's rather light blue. So we'll just press the X button here, and let's close this window, but first, at the bottom you will see the desktop. If you press begin, you can access everything, all programs and all files. At the top, the minimize button closes the current program, and at the desktop, it brings up a list. We hope you enjoy the best operating system in the world from 1999. Regards, Ben Corp. Okay, so this is from 1999, the other one from 1993, and uh, yeah, the next one will be made in 2008, and uh, that 2012. After that, 2015. But we aren't that quite that far. I've made four so far, but I've only made videos of two of them. Right. So we'll just press the X button here. And uh, yeah, back to the desktop. We'll press begin. And uh, this bring down here, we can see my documents, my pictures, my videos, my music, and programs. If you press programs, this shows us my files, notes, and internet. So first of all, we'll check out internet. So here, I don't know why it's called Windows Vista. So we can just press go to search whatever it is in the taskbar, or we can alternatively just press home for it to go all, like directly to Google. There are also back and next buttons, so uh, let's just test, let's just write something in the back, next. But you can watch YouTube videos in it, because there is a built-in YouTube video play, I don't know what plays YouTube. As do on YouTube, this is product placement, I should monetize this, but I ah, will. Breakfast essentials at £1. 
I'd like a big breakfast for a small price. Great. So, yeah, that's it. And let's just go pop. And yeah, that is the internet. So next, I will show you the notes application. Here we can type out any notes of any shape, shape or sort thing. Of so yeah, I was typing that. And as I type this, if I press the X button, then when I open it again, it's look, it's uh, saved the last thing that I wrote. So let's go back to begin programs and let's go to my files. This is an improvement on the feature in the last. Uh, thingy because it can play movie files, it can it can open text documents, I've no idea what that is. Oh, some Microsoft thing. But, and yeah, you can open programs. So, we'll just go to uh, who is it? Users, and uh, Wally, and we can open images, see? As demonstrated here. Okay, so we can just press either uh, C to go right back to C directory, we can press back and next. So to stop the, and we will uh, thusly exit. So finally, oh no, not finally. We've gone out of all the programs. As uh, in the next one, there's more programs. There's also a games application where you can. Uh, this is Nebula 3 I'm talking about. But there is also a games thing where you can launch flash games because I've worked out how to embed flash games inside PowerPoints. Excitement. Okay, so let's go to my documents. So press documents to go there. And then we have a list of, of uh, folders and thingamajigs. So we can just go to any file or anything like that. But it's exactly the same as the folder thing. But if you press back, when there's nothing that we're about to do, it's nothing, something happens. So, yeah. So we can go to saves, back, next, back, next. But you can't go further than the documents. That's one of the little drawbacks. But if you want to browse the entire file system, just go to my files. Key, so we go to my pictures now. And yep, it's press pictures to uh, refresh it if it doesn't appear Go right there. But uh, as I don't actually store my pictures here, it's kind of useless for me. So I think I'll end this on that on this slightly awkward notes. On my videos, we can launch all the videos, including the uh, including one of my Hexit Gaming V2 videos, which is my other channel, by the way. This is what this is my hundred sub special. It was in 1080p HD, so yeah. It's not all Ned. Just zombies just randomly walking in front of me. But this is my town remake, so if you want to see more for content like this, then just go to uh, www.youtube.com slash user slash hexic gaming v2. H e x i c g a m i n g v2. Thank you. That's enough product placement for one day, so uh, yeah, so let's just go back. Uh so yeah, we can go back and next again because we can on every single other thing that was ever invented. So we go back to begin, we go to my music. I don't even, I, I don't actually store my music here, but whatever. So uh yes, yeah, so it's kind of useless for me again, but I will change it if it deems necessary. So this was uh Nebula two. Um an operating system designed entirely in PowerPoints by Ben, who's me, the sole YouTube person of Hexic Tech HD. So subscribe and like and comment on miscellaneous other things. So thank you for watching and goodbye. But first of all, I will restart the computer. Because no, I'll shut it. I'll shut it down actually. Oh, I failed. I missed the shutdown button, and it's not because I haven't made a shutdown screen yet. Uh, I'll I'll end this on this slightly awkward note. So goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye.